Hello kids. I have a very interesting topic today for you all. The and the topic is life below water. So what actually is below water? I think all of us are very curious about it. So let's go through and see what is there for you today. Okay, so this is our earth. Do you know what earth consists of? Yes, it's seventy percent water and thirty percent land. So you can see, right, that the water percentage is so high. Water is a huge part of earth. Before I further go and discuss about what is the life below water, I just want to quickly touch upon this SDG. So that is Sustainable Development Goals. These are the global goals which are meant to achieve better future for all of us. And there are total 17 goals. And goal number 14 is life below water. It actually is for conservation and sustainably using the ocean, seas, and marine resources for sustainable development. Okay, so what the scuba driver is telling us? He is going to navigate through and tell us what's under the water. Woohoo! What a beautiful sight! I see lots of aquatic plants and creatures. Yes, you heard me absolutely right. It's not just aquatic animals which are there below water. There are so many plants below water, and uh, it consists of plants and animals both. My slide might not cover all of them because they are lot in numbers. So let's see what my slide talk about. This which you see right now, it is kelp. So the fun fact for it is, they can grow up to two fifty feet. Yeah, so tall. Can you imagine? The next one is algae. So the fun fact for them is like they are like thirty thousand to one million species of them living in the world. Quite a population, I must say that. Next is coral. The fun fact is they are very different, vibrant colors they are found in, and beyond they, them there are so many different more species. Now the question is, why are they important? Yeah, they provide oxygen, food, shelter, and protection to aquatic animals. So they are like very important. Now we'll see some aquatic animals and we'll talk about them. Hmm, who is it? Yeah, you guess right, the fish. So let me talk something about fish. They breathe through their gills, and there are almost twenty-eight thousand species of fish. They are also quite a population. Let's see who. Here I come. <laughs> you guessed it right. It's a crab. So some key facts about crab. It's like they communicate by flapping their pincers, or you can say drumming their claws. They typically walk sideways, also known as decapods, because they have ten legs. Hmm, I have ten legs. How many do you have? Let's see who is next. Oh, so cute! I'm pretty sure you must have guessed this also. Yeah, it's a jellyfish. Jellyfish is not actually a fish. You know that? It has no brain. It is boneless. Basically, to keep its shape, its body is made up of ninety percent of water. Oh, and fish swims near jelly belly for jellyfish for protection because they feel it safe. Hmm. Who am I? Can you guess, please? 
Yeah, it's an octopus. So octopus has eight arms and three hearts. Its blade is copper based blue colored. It has eye on top of its head, but it is color blind. They are very intelligent. They are able to change body colors quickly also, you know. Here comes someone. It's a shark. Oh, I'm scared. Are you too? Mm. So shark, they can have up to 30,000 teeth throughout their life. And there are no vein bones in their body. Baby sharks are called pups. And they always, always give warning signs before praying. So there will be so many of them. But you guys need to be really cautious while you dive in some oceans. Let's see who is next. Oh, those are cute starfish. But actually, it's not a fish. They can have up to 40 arms and have eye at the end of each arm. Small, small arms. They have no blood and brain. And they also have mouth at their center of the body. Yeah. Oh, she's such a cutie pie. You must have already seen them a lot of times, right? Yep, you guessed it right. It's a dolphin. They sleep with only one eye open. <laughs> Isn't it funny? We sleep with both eye closed and they sleep with one eye closed and other one open. They have large brain. They communicate through sound and whistles. They can't breathe underwater so they cannot stay very long underneath the water. Oh, who is it? It's a seahorse. It has no stomach and teeth. It has excellent eyesight. Swims in an upright position. Can see in two directions. Can you even imagine that? Yeah, at the same time, one eye will be looking at some other place and the second eye would be looking at something different. They make a lot of noises and they dance also. Oh, I am a stingray. They are related to sharks. They use tail to defend. Their weapon is fatal to human. So really dangerous. Don't use uh, eye to pay. Rather use a smell. No bones coated with mucus for production. while somebody is attacking me. So was it interesting to see all those animals? There are many more. Talk to your parents and teachers and understand who are those others aquatic animals and plants also. Okay friends? So I'll move now like why is marine life so important to us? Do you know like besides giving shelter to marine animals there are some other things also some other importance also they provide 70 percent of oxygen which we right now have and we you know use to breathe yeah you heard me right 70 percent so they are a huge contributor they also provide food inside and outside water they really help to maintain the ecosystem and regulate the climate they also provide raw material for medicine. So they, you must have heard some of the medicines are made for fish oils and all other stuff also. So they help us in different ways. They give the occupation also. The fishermen who are there, you know, that's the occupation for them. 
and uh, you have seen so many importances of the marine life there are many more so we saw so many goals we talked about aquatic plants we talked about aquatic animals we talked about how important they are but what is our bit to help the ocean what can we do from our side what can we do to contribute to the global goal which is taken for the sustainability actually we can do a lot more lots of thing we can do so as we can start with not using plastic and i think there there is so much awareness right now in the world regarding the plastic and uh, we should use actually we should not use plastic and if it is like an emergency use a few plastic products but it's a big no like we should not use it then we can of course take up a portion of the beach and go ahead and clean it we should also eat sustainably so we need to be conscious from where the seafood is coming it is very important to know what you are eating we can use some eco friendly products there are a few products which have harmful chemicals which go down the drain which go into the water and they really harm the ocean so we need to be cautious about it and uh, i think we we have heard uh, our parents saying our teacher saying our guardian saying that we should save water and it's a must must for all of us so kids i hope you enjoyed this video and it must be very insightful for you please uh, go ahead and subscribe my channel and keep watching many more videos which i will be uploading soon and which are already there in my playlist so for now bye bye and take care